That's me, Siren on the Dragon. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So, let's see what's going on for our Leos. Behind the scenes for the Leos. Behind the scenes for the Leos, please. Behind the scenes cash flow. Behind the scenes for the Leos. Arrested and codependency. If it come back out, I'll pull it out, but it came out two at a time and I really like to pull them one at a time. So behind the scenes for the scorp uh, for the Leos, that was one um, hidden truth here. Behind the scenes for the Leos, behind the scenes for the Leos, evil eye, behind the scenes for the Leos. Then we have black magic, behind the scenes for the Leos, behind the scenes, there's two came out, missing piece. And relationship. Let's see one more, two more, please. Missing piece. Missing piece. I just saw caution. So somebody here definitely has to be warned or is being warned here. All right. So, yeah, new job, mirroring and kicked out skeletons on the bottom of the deck. Top of the deck, we got fake bound and caught up. Excuse me. So let's see. Leo's cash flow and hidden truth. We have Evil Eye, Black Magic, Copycat, and Therapist. All right, so somebody here is possibly, I feel like there can be someone here who is looking at you with Evil Eye, okay? This could be somebody here who might need to heal a little bit, okay? They could be needing to heal a little bit. I see like there is somebody here who's doing Black Magic for money or something like that, or doing Black Magic over your money or something. Um, we got copycat. Somebody is mimicking you. So maybe this is like someone here is following after whatever it is that you're doing. But it's like there's some type of truth that you have to accept about yourself as to why this person is mimicking you or or whatever this means. Okay, like that. Let's get let's get deeper. Hold on. Let's get deeper. Give me the messages, please. Let's give me the messages. Cash flow. What's cash flow? Cash flow for the Leos. What's cash flow? Cash flow. Cash flow. Someone here is definitely manifesting Leo energy, big Leo energy. Manifesting more money, calling in more money. Um, hold on. I'm gonna shuffle. Cash flow. What's cash flow for the Leos? yeah manifestation okay somebody here is definitely trying to manifest off of your money or something like that or somebody here trying to trying to control your money trying to dwindle your money or something like that because it's like you freed yourself so maybe you freed yourself from someone from your past here and so they're trying to control some type of situation they're trying to control your finances in some type of way but you freed yourself I feel like this is possibly somebody who you were in a relationship with, but it was all about sex. It was just an illusion based on, based around sex. Someone here is stressed out, though. They're stressed out because they, they know that there's competition here, that you're not necessarily um, involved with them no more. You could be going towards a new relationship, Leo, and this person... Um, desire they're in conflict right now because of the thing, because the situation with you where they were able to get money from you is over with. Okay, yeah, this is a karmic person. This is somebody um, who was sent into your life to teach you lessons. Okay, so let's see. What's this hidden truth? Hidden truth. Hidden truth. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. So the hidden truth, I feel like, is someone here could be secretly stressed out, right? About whatever happened in the past. Um, but it's time for someone to sit down and heal their inner child wounds with this situation, okay? Because maybe there was a reason be, um, based off of childhood as to why you stayed with whoever this karmic individual was. But this is somebody, again, this is somebody who you had a past relationship with, okay? Somebody from your past, possibly an Aquarius here. So let's see, hidden truth for the Leos. Yeah, but again, it was all about sex. Someone here has to be honest when it comes to a situation, maybe with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or with their baby mother. Yeah, somebody here has chose to hold back and sail away. 
Okay, I feel like you've been patient a lot, patient enough in this situation, but someone here has to accept the truth that, you know, at the end of the day, that this was based all upon sex. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands energy. This was a sex energy here. Okay. So this person is definitely watching you. This would be the person who's doing, who's paying high priestess. They're overindulging in magic, trying to pay high, high, high priestess and stuff like that here. But whatever this is, is coming back to them. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to create illusions. Okay. But the only way or only way that any type of black magic can work on somebody is if um they're not healed or they're not actively healing. So if it's like if you're in a space where you're continuously pushing things down, Leo, and acting like you don't feel how you really truly feel, whoever doing black magic, they're able to make it happen because of that. Okay? So the moment uh someone here chooses to heal, that's when the black magic stops. Okay, yeah, look, that's when the black magic stops. That's when you get in alignment with your destiny. That's when this cycle completes out. But I feel like that's the energy in the space that you're in. Somebody here is mad because you no longer want to collaborate with them. They no longer can control and manipulate you by way of spell work to make you give them money. Okay, so let's see, what's evil eye? Evil eye. Yeah, somebody here, they didn't, they, they were not healing. This is an unhealed person. This Knight of Cups. This person showing up as a Knight of Cups and a Knight of Wands. To your Queen of Wands. No. Okay, let's see. What's this uh what's this evil eye for the Leos? That I just heard. They don't give a damn about nothing other than money and sex. Okay, somebody here definitely be juggling. They juggle a lot. This could be somebody who's in a marriage. Tower moment, marriage. Yeah, somebody here is definitely getting blocked. Somebody here is getting blocked from from work or something like that here. But evil eye. Somebody here. Um, they're, they're also envious of how well you're able to juggle things despite all the magic that they've done to try and put you to rest. They're also envious because you left them out in the cold. They're mad that you left them out in the cold. They're mad that they're trying to do spell work to get you to feel indecisive, to to dwindle down your money to a pinnacles, five of pinnacles. They're trying to get you to lay to rest whatever new love interest that you may be having. What's uh, evil eye? Evil eye with the king of pinnacles here. Yeah, they mad because you got into a new con uh, a new connection and you're happy there. Okay, so let's see. What's evil eye? Oh, and also, that if this is a situation where somebody here is juggling, where this king of pentacles is juggling people and has third-party situations, the third party is looking at you like, what the fuck, you know? They looking at you like, um, they don't like you, of course, you know what I'm saying? But there's definitely some type of huge betrayal. But this was said to teach someone how to move on from these types of energies yeah because it's this whole marriage or relationship whatever this is is a whole illusion okay and it and it's keeping someone stuck and it's also keeping someone's finances stuck or that's the goal of whoever this ex person is okay work somebody here moved too quick to start working or somebody here is angry because they cannot stop you from working or something like that they're angry because you don't want to collaborate with them okay I feel like now, now and they're especially mad because you could be moving in with a new lover here. Yeah, you could really be moving in with a new lover and sailing away. What's this three of cups? They had hopes of reconciling with you. They definitely had hopes of reconciling with you. They were trying to wait it out. They were trying to wait it out. Or maybe you were trying to wait it out. But somebody started doing a lot behind the scenes in the dark. Yeah, yeah, whatever this is. Somebody here definitely feels alone in an illusion where with family or with this person who you had a family with. You could have felt alone with this person. Yeah, in conflict all the time, felt rejected. Someone here was very nasty, negative, evil towards you. They treated you like shit, Leo, or this is currently going on. But I feel like that's going to be balanced, brought into your life. Once you choose to block this person, lay this situation to rest. That's when you'll find your peace. That's when you'll find new love. Okay, so let's see. What's this King of Pentacles with the evil eye? Yeah, they mad that you're going towards someone here who possibly is a star. Someone who has a lot of attention or, or is high following or something like that. They're, they're, they're jealous of that. 
tower moment and they know that they can't that's that sh, the odds of you you are reconciling are very slim so let's see what's this king, three of cups again three of cups three of cups it's over this reconcile or whatever this is when they're trying to you know get you on the fence and put you in this indecisive way whoever this is it's over with I feel like you're choosing to have victory and success with this new person. This um, this is either your energy or your new person's energy. This is someone who is very um, attractive. You know, they feel they they feel they're very strong here. Someone here is very um, they call things towards them as well. They don't have to manipulate anybody else because they manipulate their own energy in order to bring towards them what they desire. Black magic. Let's see, black magic. This could have been somebody who was doing black magic. Yeah, this person who you had a family with, they were doing black magic over you to keep you in this illusion. Leo, for the Leos with black magic. Yep, this karmic. I'm telling you, they was doing a lot of magic over you day in and day out behind the scenes, okay? They were trying to, they, they did love spells. They did binding spells. They did all types of stuff to keep you bound to them. They possibly even you know, helped you get good jobs, you know, with their magic. And the whole time they were not saying anything. This was something that was going on behind the scenes that you did not know about. Yeah. I feel like this new love, you have new love here. And maybe this was a, a, a baby mother situation, or maybe this is just, you know, your intuition telling you that, hey, it's time to move on. It's time to create something new. Okay. I see you moving on. Could be a water sign involved that you're moving on to. Let's see. What's this? Somebody who's very, very well balanced, Leo, that's coming into your life. Somebody who's very balanced. All right. Yeah, while this other person here feels stuck. This person from your fast feels stuck. All right, so let's see. What is this copycat? Copycat? Then they're also trying to give you, if you're in a new relationship and this is about your ex, they're sending dark magic, black magic towards your relationship to make you um, like desire to have your family back, desire to be back with whoever this, um, this uh, child's parent is. They're doing black magic to confuse you. They're doing black magic to make you feel like, oh, this is not going to never work. You know, this if there's a lot of arguments and fights and stuff in this new relationship is because of whatever this past person has been secretly doing behind the scenes to keep you in this illusion of family. OK, so let's see. What is this copycat? Yeah, you already know this, though. Trust your intuition. You already know this because there, you could be moving also towards a new relationship with somebody who you're not going to be able to get anything past. This person could be a high priestess, an empress, or this is your energy. So there's a major commitment coming in that's going to be very successful for you. Okay? It might be a little challenging at first, but I feel like this is only because... Um, because there's some things that you have to heal through. Okay. And this baby mother energy or yeah, this baby mother energy or this mom energy wanted it to pick, take it how it resonates. This person is in, this person is really like, is losing their shit behind the scenes. Okay. Let's see. What's copycat? Copycat. Somebody here secretly is trying to like, they're planning to, they could be trying to learn. Maybe this new person you were with here has is like a um is like a spiritually enlightened person or maybe they're a pastor or you know there's somebody who has a high um spiritual authority right and so maybe somebody here could be you know watching them or maybe they're surprised that this person is this way and so they're watching them secretly and they're trying to study them to learn how 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 to be like them or something like that i don't know yeah yeah this is that new person this is that new person's energy here okay this is the new person's energy so your old person is watching your new person trying to figure out how they can um how they can mimic how they can mimic their energy to and then you know manipulate the situation 
to with black magic to get you to reject this person and then come towards them. But this is somebody here, whoever this is, this page of cups, this person, first of all, this could be a page of cups. Okay. This could be a page of cups. This past person is a page of cups to your queen of pentacles energy. Okay, this is a person who you either you're in a relationship with or this is you. Pick what side is this you're on, whether you're male or female. You know, um, queens or queens or queens can be a male or a female. That's just the energy somebody's in, okay? But this is a this is a page of cups, and this is a queen of cups. This is someone who's emotionally immature, and this is someone who's grounded, stable, and secure. Okay, so this person here is trying their hardest to mimic this energy. In some kind of way, possibly even do energy swapping spells. Leo, this person trying to do energy swapping spells to get you to reject them. But they're watching. They're watching you and this person. Okay, this could be somebody who's a high priestess, Leo. And they're surprised or they're, shit, I don't know what they are. I don't know. They can't control whoever this is. This is somebody who's extremely strong. This is somebody who is well balanced. Okay? They got the sun and the moon in their hands. This is someone who is not just going to give up. This is someone who will go to bat for you. This is someone who's also equipped spiritually to handle all that black magic and also to do what needs to be done in order to um, use that black magic energy to produce something new for you all. Okay? Someone here has the ability to transmute energy, dark energy into light energy. Okay. So this is, this past person is not nothing to really worry about this whole energy swapping spells. All that stuff going to stop because at the end of the day, you still going to have victory and success. I don't know who story this is, but yeah, somebody here just mad. They're mad because they are looking out into the future and they see that they cannot get you to move on. They cannot get, they, they can't. Their, their plots and plans to have you come back to them for one night only or one night this or that and then tie you, tie your soul to theirs or tie your soul to the damn devils, it's not working. Okay, this is somebody who wants to just destroy you. That's why they did all this black magic to keep you. That's why they did all this. That's why they're doing all this black magic now. They're making all these choices and they don't realize that they're doing stuff to earth an earth angel. Whether this is your energy or the, your person's energy, this is an earth angel. This ain't no regular person. This is somebody who, this is one of God's favorites. So they don't really even realize just how much of a backfire it's about to have on them. Let's see. What's this? Um, yeah, this is somebody. This 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 high priestess energy. This very intuitive person. This is a total wish fulfillment here. Okay, this person is a total wish fulfillment. Let's see. What's therapist? This past person. Maybe this new person could be um a therapist. Yeah, they could be. They could be somebody who helps and inspires people to heal. Okay, what's therapist again? therapist yeah this could be somebody who is a messenger or something like that okay they help people get through challenging times or this is you you pick what side of this you're on leo so what does this mean what's this message this ace of wands what's coming in ace of wands could be a scorpio could be aquarius here but this i mean this page of wands this is also somebody here who could be getting a message about um this is also a message where somebody here they showed up as a page of cups then they showed up as a knight of cups it's it, this is over with whoever this was that's mentally unstable as well this person could be mentally unstable from your past but they sit back and they watch they stalk you and whoever your new love is that it's over with they know that it's over with and they're getting that message loud and clear it's over with so yeah you took a risk in a new direction or you will be and then boom. All that all that lying, sneaking, manipulating, betrayal energy, you are you are protected from it. You protected from all the black magic, all that stuff. Yeah. The lovers here. Yep, this is a past lover who you had a family with. They feel rejected because you closed out a cycle. But this would but you're it was a part. Look, this past lover here. 
Queen of, Queen of Swords. This is an ex-lover. They feel rejected. This is also somebody who you could have had a family with, with the Ten of Cups. But with the world card here in the, in the Wheel of Fortune, you closed out a cycle and moved on towards your destiny. This Queen of Swords could never. Queen of Swords coming up against an Empress. Temperance. An Earth Angel. A Divine Feminine. Somebody who also is strong and intuitive. Somebody don't realize just how much they messed up themselves by try, by coming and trying to do these spell work. This is also somebody who like to sit around in a circle with about seven or six different women and try to do spell work over you or yeah, over you and your relationship. I see you calling back all your energy in. I see you sucking your energy back into your spirit, into your body. They, that's what they're doing. They're trying to suck your energy out of you. They're trying to suck the life out of you. I strongly suggest that Leos that you go and study your chakras so that you know when something is off balance. It's like so, if you start to feel emotionally unstable and you know just uh, you know that could be something going on within your cell, your sacral chakra, your orange chakra. When you start to feel you know, like, you know, money is running low. That could be somebody attacking your root chakra. When you start to feel like your confidence is low, that could be somebody attacking your solar plexus chakra, okay? And then with this, um, this is, this is just like really, really, really um surface examples okay but they come in all attacks come in all types of shapes and forms and this is ultimately just because of um jealousy okay this is all out of jealousy and envy somebody just not wanting to leave you alone not wanting to not wanting you to move forward and just trying to control you there's no you don't deserve this leo so if for a second you thinking that you do trust me you don't okay um yeah but study your chakras Study your chakras um, so that you can know how to um, protect yourself. Okay, Leo? I hope that resonates. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.